we have these people in our lives. And these people show up and they say something in a certain way and it doesn't make any difference if somebody else said it, we would just ignore it. All right? But they come along and they say this thing and boom, off you go. And you're frantic and you're mad and you're angry, you're upset, you're worked up, you're feeling unworthy. So these people to me are your soulmates, you see. Because what they're teaching you at any given moment in your life is you haven't mastered yourself at this moment. You're not in charge of yourself. Those people who can push your buttons and send you into a frenzy or into an angry space or into a space of self-repudiation are people who are divine masters disguised as manipulative, crass, unconcerned people. <laughs> and rather than being mad at them and being upset with them and saying that they shouldn't be this way, your task ought to be to turn to them and bow and say, I honor you as my teacher. Now, that's a hard thing for us to get to, but don't you all have people in your life who are just like that? And you know you're stuck with them. These are people who are not on your path. You know they're not on your path. They're not even on an entrance ramp to your path. <laughs> they're in a different place. They're from a different planet. But nevertheless, they're there with you. And you're sharing the journey with them. And it's very interesting. I mean, I have eight children. And uh, my children are the ones that are very good at knowing how to push these buttons. I have one daughter particularly. Her name is Serena that can really do this very well. She's real good at it. She's always giving me advice almost every day on, on how to be a better parent. She even said to me one time, she said, I can't believe you actually wrote a book uh, on how to be a better parent. I just can't believe that. This is about, she was about nine years old telling me this. You really wrote that? And uh, whenever she gives me this advice, it's like, or she starts going into one of her routines, I find myself you know, really being challenged. You know, I don't usually turn around and say, I honor you for, you know, I'm usually saying, well, you. <laughs> but nevertheless, there's a part of me that recognizes this. And I also recognize it in uh, my relationship with my wife. And we've been together for a long time. And there are areas where she will say something and I will find myself. And then I'll stop. You see, because essentially the ego part of us wants us to be right. Whereas the higher part of us always wants what? Peace. That's all it ever wants. So it's like you have to really learn if you're going to feel worthy of having something show up in your life, how to be peaceful. And the way to be peaceful in your life is to, in all of your relationships, when you have a choice to be right or to be kind, to just pick kind, to just choose to be kind at any given moment in your life. You are honoring that higher part of you. You feel peaceful and you've let go of the ego need, which says, wait a minute, you're important. And you have to prove that this other person shouldn't have done that and all of that kind of stuff. But Serena, I remember her, her telling me, she's great. She would tell me, uh, uh, giving me advice on how to be a parent. And one day I just had had it with her. And I said, you know, Serena, I said, it's time for you to stop telling me what kind of a parent to be and stop blaming me for the kind of parent I am and take responsibility yourself for the kind of parent that I am. And she stopped, and she assumed this pose that she always assumes with her hand on her hip, you know, and her knee going up and down real fast. And she said, you want to run that one by me one more time? <laughs> you want me? Is that what I heard? You want me to be responsible for the kind of parent you are? I said, exactly. She said, well, what are you talking about? I said, well, before you came here, you had a choice. You have certain heroic missions that you have to fulfill while you're here on this planet. I'm giving her this little lecture. You know, she said, well, what do you mean before I came here? She said, I don't remember that. I said, well, your memory isn't anything that you should rely upon to determine whether this works or doesn't work. You don't remember being four months old and being in your crib and throwing up all over, but you did. You don't remember your dreams last night. You don't remember what you had for dinner last Thursday. Your memory isn't a good indicator of what it was. Just trust me, this is true. Before you come here, you choose your parents. You get to pick who your parents are. 
and you have certain lessons that you have to learn, and you picked me to be your father, and you picked mom to be your mother, and you should stop complaining about the choice that you made. She said, I don't remember any of this. I said, well, forget about whether you remember it or not. She said, you're telling me that I chose you to be my father before I came here, and I had lessons to learn through you. I said, exactly. And you should stop blaming me. You should just take responsibility for the choice you made. She said, I must have been in a big hurry. <laughs> so, these are your tests, all right? So what I would like you to think about when you think about honoring your worthiness to receive anything is that all of the people in your life that you find yourself in conflict with or having a difficult time with, whether they're strangers or spouses or children or grandparents or in-laws or even people who are no longer here on this earth plane. If you can say to yourself, when I have this choice at any given moment to be right or to be kind, and I'm going to let my ego get out of this thing, and I'm going to choose to be at peace, as it says in The Course in Miracles, I can choose peace rather than this at any given moment. And then when you find yourself in these relationships with contentious people and you find yourself being able to be at peace when they push those buttons, you'll know that the reason that they showed up in your life in the first place is to teach you to honor your own worthiness. That's why you're with them. That's what they're there for. These are teachers, just like you are teachers to others. And you can let go of that ego-driven need to constantly be proving yourself and to make yourself right and to make more than making yourself right, to make them wrong, which is what we often do in this whole business of uh, not honoring that.